It's kind of cold compared to where we were. <laughs> Jeffrey. White Rock, look at that. See you, buddy. Snazzy. How we doing, guys? Yeah. What is going on, guys? Welcome to Cold Bay. Alaska, that's right. It's gonna be an epic adventure this week, something we've never done before. We're way up here in one of the most talked about. Whoa, what's going on, Annie? Woo! Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, she's excited too. But no, this is one of the most talked about adventures in all of waterfalling, especially in North America. We're up here to shoot brant, maybe some puddle ducks, some little Canada geese, uh, probably catch some silver salmon time again who knows man what the adventures are gonna be so stay with us this week we're gonna be here for five days hunting with our good buddy Jeff at four flyways outfitters he's been doing this for man 15 20 years he's been up here guiding he actually lives in the town that we're out of in La Crosse Wisconsin so we've known Jeff for a long time it was really nice for him to invite us up here just to kind of see what Cold Bay Alaska is all about that's Steinberg you guys yep. know Steinberg one of the owners White Rock decoys there's my dad back there wave dad He's Steve, he's coming up to Alaska too. <laughs> We've been here 25 minutes, we're getting our waders on, we're gonna go catch some salmon. I haven't landed him yet. This is a big fish. Whoa. It's a big fish. <laughs> oh man, I can see them all, they're all over the place and one finally gets, look at them all coming down right here. Look at them all. Buddy. Thank you. I got one. Probably a six pounder. Steinberg just caught probably an eight pounder. Nice fish. They're going to be good for supper. White rocks with the with the wind socks, you can really bump the numbers up. And as we get later into fall, these cacklers really bunch up, and uh, it's really the only way you can get a big spread out is with a pile of wind socks. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my three brand really quickly. <laughs>
Uh, we did a little beach setup this morning, about five or six dozen wind socks, some floaters out in the water, and they ate it right up. Um, I think we're gonna pick this stuff up because we got our brand, got a bunch of geese, even a couple pintails, nice pintails. That was super fun. Um, tomorrow, it sounds like we're actually going to try to hunt the little cackling geese out on the tundra. So setting the decoys out in the tundra, laying in ghillie suits, maybe try to get them as they're trying to eat the tundra berries. So that should be really fun. But we're gonna pick this stuff up, go get some lunch, maybe try to catch some more fish this afternoon, and we'll see you then. Black Brant in Alaska. Right now. Oh, baby. On there, a little bonus peel. There we go. Get that guy down there. Atta boy. What are those things? Those are the tender loins. Brant loins. Yep. What's going on, guys? You missed an epic afternoon of fishing. I know I picked up the rod, I dropped the camera, but Steimer caught a giant. Uh, you should check out this picture right here. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're going to eat some brant tonight. They say Sandhill Crane is the ribeye of the sky. I'm gonna say Brant is the flay McNong of the sky. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> we're gonna eat it up tonight. No, and I think tomorrow we're gonna do more of the same. Hit the lagoon. We got Brant, we got cacklers, we got ducks. Oh, it's gonna be so great. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than a Brant leg. <laughs> Nothing better. Dub, huh? Oh, hey, you gotta cooking right there. What? Glow. Oh, yeah. Check the glow. Check out the glow. That is cool. <laughs> right. Nice and back glow. Silly. <laughs> <laughs>